Another day again here at the command center with the JW Solar USA live in Minnesota. I just want to give you updates what I did yesterday with my previous tests. I hope you liked that video. And um, please comment and share the video because I'm doing some serious tests here with all um, equipment and battery technology, you know, more of science and technology here, inverters, efficiency, and performance low test that's all all the things combination i'm doing right here i'm bringing live for you guys right here so i want to give you um a heads up what's going on here as the inverter is uh inverting right now and we already run run the system after all the tests yesterday i tried to uh recharge the battery to a uh, hundred percent again so that would be at 11 o'clock like um that's 2300 hours in the evening okay so I decided to get these batteries all the way charged up to see how far or how long this battery can run run how many days or what the capacity from nighttime all the way so this is what is happening right now the freezer is running but it can't even register to 100 watt which um, has to be like 100 watt then the system can recognize it but it's running because so the, the see the green light is solid that tells you that it's inverting okay so you can see on the top they say inverting but it's below the threshold it's now 100 watt so um this is the voltage from 28.8 charge last night and uh now it's sitting at 57 sorry from 58.8 excuse me 58.8 and um Last night was full charge and now is uh, 57.2. So check from 11 p.m. last night and all the way this time. So 11 p.m. last night till now. Now it's almost uh, it's 9 past 9. So it's about 10 hours. So the voltage I just took from the battery is a uh, 1.6. Do the math. 58.8 minus uh, 57.2 is only... Um, 1.6 volt one and a half volt taken from the batteries guys i want to see how this thing gonna run for the next 24 hours and i just want to give you a heads up and uh so far so good i'm still gonna show you guys there's no solar presence right a present right now all these in uh charge controllers are off you see the mate is blinking right there it's inverting you see the light right there it's, uh, it's inverting but it's not registry registering like i said if it was the uh the magnum it has the uh, bmk battery monitor kit then you will see exactly um <clears throat> how many watt the 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 device is taking but um since i don't have the flexnet dc um so this is the thing i'm I can see how many amps taken out, like that big test yesterday, uh, 4.1 to 4.5 uh, uh, surge, uh, which is a fire, uh, almost uh, 4,500 watt surge, and you guys, some of you guys capture a, a 4.1. So, and um, out of a out of a 3,000 watts inverter made by outback power systems and uh incorporated here with a magna sign magnum energy where with a xantrex xw 6048 will be the next test and i'll let you guys know when i'm ready for that and you guys will see the notification so i'll encourage you if you haven't turn on your notification bell yet i'll encourage you to do that because it's going to be some serious test coming out of this channel here at jw solar usa as we are all transitioning as i am transitioning from agm to lithiums look at that one on my playlist if you haven't seen that if it's just an accident you come across this video or my previous videos go to my playlist and check them out or you can see going off grid how to survive in a cold weather right here in Minnesota and how all kind of bunch of stuff there, cars and all, anything. 
you want to do it's a combination of a mix of everything here this channel so i hope you like the channel and make sure you turn your notification bell and uh, you can get all the updates and latest anytime i post a video and you like it and share it please oh that really helps and uh don't forget to subscribe as well you can check me on instagram facebook and uh, twitter uh tumble and um all the rest you guys um social media there and share my videos with others they are really into this or they want to do this they haven't got the, ch the chance yet or opportunity this is going to be a good um lesson or training tutorial video for you guys i hope you like the video and uh don't want to get this video long but uh look at the voltage right now it's still sitting at the same only a 1.6 volt that was taken from the batteries as i speak and um this is uh just a 68 amp hours 68 amp hour battery bank which is a 3.5 kilowatt by ford focus and that's running all my house and that's what i was doing all that test yesterday when i have the uh, refrigerator the freezer the water dispenser built-in water heater into it laundering and uh what else everything you think of oh oh with the vacuum vacuum cleaner so that's all the power you saw yesterday if you haven't seen the, the video yesterday happened to see this one make sure you go one step ahead of you and select on that video you will see all my load test with a uh, volkswagen e-golf uh lithium ion battery with the ford focus so now we're going to a new series with the ford focus that's what we do right here on the channel and thanks for watching i'm going to be running the 48 volts for a while and see how everything is going and my wires here the two um two number two gauge wire welding cable so um nothing was warm yesterday at all nothing so the recommended thing for this outback is supposed to be a uh, one hot cable number one but i ran number two on that one a one hot cable is recommended for the outback 48 volt 3048 so i decided to run that one because that's the wire i have at that moment because I, I ordered this for a special project to interconnect the lithium batteries but it's not as flexible as i want it to be i decided to discard that wire i don't want it to sit down here being waste and approximately if you want to run a wire for this inverter 3048 is recommended you use a five foot to ten foot long at least maximum ten don't go be uh, over that you uh, tend to lose uh, uh, power which is a volt drop of voltage but with the lithiums I think you're still gonna be fine because the voltage is higher you maintain it but for just a better performance and uh, um, improvement on your system and uh, on a 48 volt uh, it's required a one hot cable one slash zero that's what it means one slash zero i'm just using number two right now so i hope this one makes sense i hope you guys enjoyed the video and like it subscribe to my channel as i'm gonna be bringing you more coming from this channel live in minnesota we have sun today but guys i'm not doing this see how bright it is outside look at the ice crystal stay away from this i make some i made a, a, a video I, I put a video out there uh Ice crystals, these are dangerous, like spear. They're going to really hurt you. You don't want kids to be around uh, this building. Something just happened in Minnesota here. And uh, they posted that on the, um, on the news. And uh, it's dangerous that ice icicle uh, fell on one of the kids' head and got the head busted or something. They have to take that kid to emergency, which is serious business here. You see, that's a lot of sun and salt, uh, snow. And I'm just... Um, taking a peek from the window i hope you see what is going on here a lot of snow on the ground and um it's sunny it's really sunny but i'm not using the the solar at all because i want to keep you guys posted all the inverters uh, charge controllers are off i just want to get make sure everything is right and as i'm doing my testing it has been going for two weeks now 
if you check the video when I started doing this, uh, when I start um, over two weeks, when I, I started um, testing the batteries, I turned the solar off. So I've been, I've, I haven't been using the sun at all, okay? I haven't used the sun at all. All I was doing, just charging from the grid and uh, utilize it for one to two days and charge again, which is less. So I don't want to just get confused with the charge controllers right now. I just want to make sure everything is perfectly. I can run my system without the sun. If we happen to be that way, we don't have sun for some reason, then my system is going to be really cranking. It's still working. So this is how you test. It's not just all the time with the sun. You have to make sure that when there's no sun, you can still able to operate. So with these batteries, I'm really pleased with right now. So I can um, I can uh, cut the race right now. Who is the winner or not? But that's gonna be another video. Stay tuned because it's gonna be a series of videos coming live from this channel. Then I'm gonna be doing bringing you all these kind of awesome, awesome, awesome tests from this channel. Love you guys all, and stay tuned for more to come. Live from Minnesota, JW Solar USA. Thank you. Love you guys all, and thanks for being part of my channel. Subscribe and share.